In today's video, I'm going to be ranking 10 of the most iconic and influential sneakers of all time and put them into a tier list, because why not? And if we were going off how iconic or classic the sneakers are, then they would all be S tier, so we're not going to do that. What I am going to be doing is ranking them on how likely I would be to want to wear any of these sneakers today. And I know this video is going to ruffle some feathers, but it's just my opinion and it's my tier list. If you don't like my rankings, then you're welcome to make your own, but let's just get into it. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the tier list. So let's start off with an easy one, my favourite sneaker of all time, the Converse Chuck Taylor, and specifically the 70 for me. But I think anyone can wear these, whatever your age, whatever your style, and they go with everything. I never seem to get bored of seeing these sneakers, and I see them a lot, and there's not many sneakers out there that I can say that about. And as you can probably already tell, these are top tier for me. It doesn't get any better than this, so they're going to have to go in the S tier. So next up, we've got one of my favourite sneakers growing up, the Vans Authentic. So the Vans Authentic, it's a really sleek shoe, it's really easy to style, so it goes with most things. But for me these days, I don't really feel like I want to wear them much. Maybe it's because I wore them so much as a kid that I associate them with a younger style, and I do feel like I've outgrown them a bit. And if I was to put together an outfit that I really like the look of, and then I finished it off with a pair of these, I think these would dull down the look. Maybe I'll wear them in the summer with a pair of shorts, but I don't know. They would work for me and my current style but they don't excite me so I'll put them in B for now anyway. So next up let's do the Nike or Nike Air Force One. So like the Vans Authentic I don't find myself wanting to wear the Air Force Ones at all these days and I don't think they suit the style that I'm going for. And I know they're a classic shoe and they're timeless but unlike the Chuck 70s where I never get bored of seeing them I'm actually a little bit bored of seeing these. Also the one thing I really don't like about the Air Force One is the way it ages with wear. I think because the shoe is quite roomy it goes out of shape quite easily easily when it creases. And yes, before you say it, I do get the right size, but what I mean is there's quite a lot of height in the toe box. So when that creases, it creases in an unsightly way. Or maybe it's just me and I walk weird, but if you find this as well, then do let me know. But I do think these are a really easy shoe to style, and if they work for your style and you like them, then I don't think you can go wrong with them. And I know this is going to annoy a lot of people, but I've got to be honest here. I just don't want to wear a pair of these at all these days, and this list is all based on how much I want to wear something. So for that reason, they've got to go in D. If you're feeling angry and you want to let off some steam, then just leave a hate comment in the comments and get it all off your chest. So shall we do the Reebok Club C next or the Stan Smith? After doing that to the Air Force One, I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for more hate just yet. So I think I'm going to do the Reebok Club C next. So yeah, Reebok. Reebok are one of those brands that I like, but they're not an S tier brand. They kind of give me the feeling that they're not that bothered about their products. They're kind of like, here's some sneakers sneakers that we've been making for years. You can wear them if you want to, but uh, no problem if not. There just doesn't seem to be any fire or real passion behind the brand, but maybe that's just me. But anyway, we're not talking about them as a brand, we're talking about the Club C. So I used to wear the Club C's a lot a few years ago. They're really comfortable, they're easy to style, but I do find they look a little bit clumsy. Like the Air Force One, they crease in an unsightly way and it makes me not want to wear them. And again, this could be because I walk weird, but I don't think so. When I want to go for a minimal white sneaker, I want something that's really sleek and I don't think these are that sleek. At the moment, I would probably wear them over the Air Force One and I put those in D. So I'm going to put these in C. It's even in the name. And would Reebok even be that bothered about that placement? Probably not. So let's move on. So I'm going to do the Adidas Samba next. Now I know these are everywhere at the moment and I know a lot of people are sick to death of seeing them, but strangely, I'm not. I love some of the collabs that have come out recently. They come in a load of different colors. So yeah, there's a lot to choose from. I think because there's so many different versions of this shoe, it's harder for me to get bored of them, if that makes sense. So for me, I would still Still wear them today and it's got to be an S tier for me. I think they're a great shoe and really wearable. I don't find them the most comfortable but I'm going to look past that here and they're going an S tier. Next up we've got a lot of people's favourite sneaker, the Nike Jordan 1. Now I've always liked the look of the Jordan 1 but I've never been bothered about them enough to go and buy a pair. Saying that though, I do think they're one of the coolest looking sneakers ever made but I just don't think they suit my style enough 
for me to want to go and buy a pair. So taking this all into account, where would I rank them? This is a really hard one because although I wouldn't go and buy a pair of Jordans right now, if I had a pair, I'd probably wear them. I'd definitely wear them over the Air Force One and probably over the Club C as well. And where did I put them? So yeah, the Club C is in C, so maybe I'm going to put the Jordan 1 in B tier. So yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that. I'd wear them from time to time if I had a pair, but I'm not going out my way to buy them. Okay, let's get the big one out the way next, the Adidas Stan Smith. I always upset the Stan fans when I talk about these, but I can't change the way I feel. Of course, they're one of the most influential sneakers of all time, and without them, we might not have a lot of the sneakers that I like today. So thank you to the Stan Smith. But just because this shoe is so iconic and influential, it doesn't mean that there aren't better options on the market for me these days. I just find the upper part of the Stan Smith far too rounded and far too bulky and clumsy looking for my liking, especially when they crease. I still don't think I'd ever buy a pair or wear a pair, maybe in the summer one day with some shorts, I don't know. But saying all that, I do think I'm less bored of seeing these than the Air Force One. So for that reason, I'm going to put the Stan Smith in C tier. And if you're feeling really angry now, then scream into a pillow or leave another hate comment in the comments. Do what you need to do, but let's move on. So next up, we've got the New Balance 574. So I'm not really someone who wears running style shoes with my casual outfits. The only time I wear them is when I'm running. So New Balance sneakers aren't really for me. Saying that though, they are really comfortable and well made, so not all bad. So I may wear a pair for comfort reasons in the not so distant future, but I don't think I'm quite at that point in my life yet. So where am I going to rank them? I think the 574s and a lot of other New Balance sneakers, they kind of feel like a middle of the road sneaker to me. So I think that's where I'm going to put them in this tier list, in a C. They're not offensive sneakers, they're not exciting, they're just cozy. Next up, let's do the Nike Air Max 1. So as I just said with New Balance, I'm not one for running style sneakers with my casual fits. So this shoe isn't really my style. I do really like the look of it, but just not on me. I also think the Air Max 1 might be the least versatile shoe for me on this list, so I do need to take that into account. I think the big question is, would I rather wear a pair of these or a pair of the Air Force 1s? And I'm really not sure. And where did I put the Air Force 1? So I put them in D, so I think I'm going to have to put these in D as well. I don't really know how to feel about this one, but um, I'm sure I'll get over it. Let's move on. <laughs> I feel like we've got to have a Puma or a Puma on this list. So it's got to be the suede next. So the Puma suede, this was a shoe for me that was almost there, but not quite. Puma does actually have some more sleek looking models, in my opinion, like the Army Trainer. And if I was ranking those, then I'd probably put those in A tier, but we're doing the suede here. So the suede, they don't blow me away. I don't get excited by them. I'm not bothered by them. They're fine. And I think I'm going to rank them fine and put them in C tier. So if you're still watching this, it means you didn't break your computer screen in an absolute rage. But if I carry on, you might. So I'm going to end this one here. Let me know what you think of my list. And if you change anything, I'm sure you will. Uh, so let me know in the comments. If you like this one, please do leave it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you later.